I think we need to start this video off in a correct way. This was posted on the Bengals uh, Twitter page. Look at that. Our MVP is showing up on defense. Look at that boy right there. That right there is our comeback season. Talk about a Mike Cart. Because that bad boy is back. They also posted a couple days ago this one which says, My God, what have they done to you? <laughs> yeah. Guys, let's talk about injury report. Mike Cart's back for week six. And the injury report is also back. So, Chase Brown was a limited participant in practice today. He is questionable for this upcoming game on Sunday. Joe Burrow, obviously, full participant in process. You know. Mike Hilton, full participant in process. He is questionable. Poison Ivy, full participant in process. He is doubtful. Now, this is not doubtful because of injury. It's because of the fact he just got elevated from the IR. And they probably don't want to utilize him. In all honesty, they don't want to waste a roster spot for him this week. They might do it in the future. But for this week, they don't want to waste a roster spot. So... He is still going to be on the team, but he does not count toward the roster until they make him part of the active roster. So, at this moment in time, he is just not going to play. He's going to be, again, processing for 21 days, and at any time they can make him an active roster participant. Mike Gesicki, full participant in process today. He is ready to go for Sunday night. Uh, Chris Jenkins, also full process. Sheldon Rankins, full process. He's back. Amarius Mims, 100%. Zach Moss, 100%. Joseph Asai, also 100%. So really, the biggest thing is we might not have Chase Brown for Sunday, and we also might not have... We're not going to have Poison Ivy. But everybody else should be back. Everyone else should be okay to go, and no problem at all. Now for their side... <laughs> Malik Neighbors has officially been ruled out with a concussion protocol. Um, I saw some posts, I think it was yesterday. He was at some, I think he was at some basketball game, I want to say. And he was partying and stuff like that. And a lot of people got on him for that. Listen, I will definitely say alcohol is not the best to deal with concussions. Uh, but he's going to live his life. You know, you just got to let a player live their life. He is concussion protocol and he wants to go out and party. That's kind of just his, you know, situation that he's going to deal with. You know, if the team has a problem, they're going to contact him and talk to him. But as fans, man, let I, I had to say, let the players live. Let the players live the life, you know. If he wants to do that, then that's his choice. <laughs> with that being said, though, we also do have Kayvon Thibodeau, who is out for this game on Sunday night. Uh, he's another guy who has a wrist injury, so he will be out. Other than that, they do have questionable players, like, for example, Devin Singletary, their running back. Um, and also, Jamie Gillian, their punter, who popped up on the injury report as of today. So, he might not be able to go, hopefully, uh, for this sake, he is. Just because, again, like I said, you know. No bad blood with this team, but hopefully they have a punter. Um, Ty Summers. I mean, I guess it would be cool if they don't have a punter, but they could also go and pick up a punter. So it's not like just because their punter's hurt, meaning they're just not going to be able to punt the ball. They could just go get another punter or have one on the active roster. Like It's it's not that difficult to do. Um, Ty Summers, hamstring injury, limited participant in process. Um, John Runyon also limited on Friday. So, a couple guys showing up at the end of the week for them uh, for the injury report. And, of course, we'll see how that ends up working out. For our side, though, we should be ready to go and ready to get our second win of the season. Ugh, that's, um, that's a fun statement to say out loud, isn't it? Now... Second part of this video here. So, Cam Taylor Britt, shout out to James for posting this, by the way. Cam Taylor Britt offers simple solution to Bengals struggle on defense. And the funny thing is, when I first read this, I thought he's saying, like, fire, like, fire everyone. And I'm like, oh, God, this is going to be bad if uh, Cam Taylor Britt is, telling, is saying that the coaching staff should be fired. But he's not. He's saying fire. A fire lit. So pretty much they need a fire lit underneath of their uh, uh, yeah. 
how do I say this in the correct way? It's not inappropriate. Um, arseholes. There you go. I think arseholes is a better way of saying that. Anyway, so yeah, he's saying they need a fire lit underneath of them to get them to kind of, you know, get going. He says from play one to zero, zero, zero on the clock. So pretty much they need a fire lit underneath their bum the whole entire game so that they can play better. Which, what 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 do we need to do to get fire on their bum? Like, are we going to, I don't know how we're going to do that one. But he said turnovers, he said bluntly. Get Joe Burrow with the ball back. We'll win games. And when we win the turnover battle, play with the lights out. Play with a fire. <sighs> yeah. Bro, it's week six. Why, why Why? couldn't we have figured this solution out like five weeks ago? <laughs> I'm sorry, but like it's week six, bro. This should have been a solution figured out week one. This is a very obvious solution. And this is why I said before, you know, listen. Everything is nice to say. And people can say everything they want to say. But actions speak louder than words. So, Cam Taylor Britt here, buddy. If that's the case, then I need you guys going out there and, and you know, proving that. Because all I know is that Panthers game, Cam, you were getting cooked. You were burnt toast out there. So, I just need you to, you know, back up those statements with action and play. And as long as you do that, we Gucci, okay? We're all good. But we need that to happen here, okay? We need you to back up that, the, that talk right there with actual play. And if you have to use actual fire to, you know, get you motivated, I guess you can do that. But just be careful. If we lose Paycor Stadium, that's going to be really unfortunate. But this week we actually play in New York, so I guess we lose Matt Life. It's not unfortunate for us. But again, this is great. Everything is great. Words are great. I love words, but words mean nothing if you don't give them action. If you don't add action to words, you're just blabbing to blabber. And that's all that is. So let's make an actual difference and actually add some things to those words and the mic cart cannot be everything although the mic cart might be have to be everything at this point <laughs> i'll be honest with you the mic cart might have to carry the team for a little bit are they gonna put a fire on the mic cart and then push it out into the field see all ideas and think about it metlife has a turf field it might be a bit lit on fire. Eh? Peace out.